surrounded by water. There is no way we're going to be able to get her. Hello everyone and welcome to this Spill the Tea video. Oh my god, I feel like it's been years since I made a Spill the Tea video. Uh, today I have a very exciting story. So exciting that it got kind of confusing and I had to re-record this entire story. And I'm doing a collab with Vanessa and this is the time when me and my mom had to go rescue Vanessa from a flood. Vanessa got me for my birthday this very special cup and it has Yojo Unicorn on it. I effing love it. It's so amazing. The tea that we'll be using today is Gatorade. So let the inaugural tea starting ceremony begin. So that happened quite a few weeks ago. So on my phone, I had emergency alert and it said flash flood warning in the area until 2 a.m. Avoid flood areas. And so I'm like, well, you know what? I need to go get myself some food. So I went out and got myself some Taco Bell. Like it was just nice and windy. And if you guys know me, I don't have any air in my car. The breeze felt so amazing. And it was literally what people call the calm before the storm. I get home and everything's fine. Like not even a single drip of water. Um, I get my food out and you know, I'm about to eat. And my mom and dad come home. As soon as I come home, it starts pouring down so much rain. Like so much rain going yay, like at least three of us are safe. The only problem is Vanessa is still outside because she was going to be with some friends. The one time Vanessa decided to be social, things didn't work out too well. Vanessa calls me and she sounds kind of panicked and she is saying that she can't see because of the rain pouring down. She can't see ahead of her. I know that Vanessa has a lot of anxiety, so I just told her, you know what, like it's best if you aren't driving, you just pull off to the side of the road and just wait for the storm to pass. The storm did not pass. So Vanessa's telling me that her phone is dying, she doesn't have a charger, she's just like very upset and very shook and I'm like, okay, like I know it's very hard to do, but just calm down. Me and my mom decided to watch some Dexter, but as we were watching Dexter, I got another notification on my phone saying, warning, this is a flash flood warning, get out of the area, um, and in fact, until 2.15 a.m. And we're like, uh-oh, Vanessa might be stuck out in this place until 2 a.m. Eventually, it stops raining, and we thought, okay, great, it stopped raining, Vanessa's gonna be okay, she's just gonna be coming home, but nope. Things went horribly wrong. Now I'm gonna take a break here for just a second. So the reason why this got so confusing was that I could not name street names. I decided to make these little cards, the important pieces and the important factors in the story. To use this lovely background that we have, obviously the streets aren't gonna look exactly like this, so don't be clocking me like, why don't you just go through like this way instead? Because honey bunches of notes, streets aren't really like that. So as you can see, Vanessa was on the complete opposite side of town. Me and my mom decided we're not going to tell her that we're going to come try to rescue her. Because we don't want to get her hopes up. But me and my mom decided to go on a rescue mission to look for Vanessa. So me and my mom start leaving the house and we start taking one of the main roads. Eventually, me and my mom decided to go on the interstate to see how close we could probably get to Vanessa. So we probably made it somewhere around here. We're like, okay, we don't know exactly where Vanessa was at. We knew she was somewhere in the general area. Me and Vanessa was not chatting back and forth. And we're like, how are you? Are you being okay? I'm like, don't worry. We're trying to come and rescue you. She's like, oh, okay, I'm near this one main street. I know it's a few blocks away. Um, but we know that it's completely flooded. And so meanwhile, we are going to try to go down that road. However... The bad news bears is this area is completely cut off because of the flooding.
So me and my mom are like, oh crap, we can't go down this way. Let's see if we're gonna try to go around like this way and maybe try to figure out a way that we can probably get to Vanessa. Me and my mom start to go this way, but then we notice that one of the streets was completely filled up with water and we couldn't go that way. It was so crazy. I wish I would have taken a snapshot of it because the cars were all like pushed off to the side of the side street. And at first my mom was like, why are people parking like that? But then we noticed, we found out it's because the water was so strong. It pushed the vehicles off to the side. It was so crazy. So me and my mom decided, okay, let's try to go around this way to see if we can try to get Vanessa here. But nope. Again, there was so much water in this area. And my mom started to approach it. And she's like, oh, heck no. She's seen cars get stuck. She's not going to risk it. So she went into a side street. And that was very risky and damaged her car. My mom pulls into a side street and we pull into someone's driveway and we hear like this <laughs> sound and I'm like, uh oh, uh, that does not sound good. That sounded very bad. But my mom keeps driving and then all of a sudden my mom's light came on for her tire air pressure. And I'm like, oh my God, we're gonna be stranded out here with Vanessa. And my mom stopped near the quick trip. We like walk around the tire to see how bad it is. And my mom claims that she didn't see anything and everything was okay. If you ask her today, she's gonna say, Oh yeah, I think it was damaged. I told her during the time, I can hear the air hissing out of your tire. And she's like, no, you can't. Like, I don't hear anything. Like, oh, let's go, let's go get Vanessa. I'm like, okay, whatever. Final attempt to get Vanessa was we were gonna have to go all the way this way go on one of the side main streets, if that makes sense, go all the way down this way and get Vanessa like this. So we're about around here. Me and my mom turn on this main street and it's completely pitch dark the entire ride down because that street lost power due to the flood. But me and my mom slowly making our way down this way and we thought that we were about to make it until, of course, another street was closed because of the damn flood. So we're like, look, Vanessa is completely surrounded by water. There is no way we're gonna be able to get her. But me and my mom prevailed. We somehow ended up going off to the side street here and making our way to Vanessa. We rescued her out of this long time. And you know what? This girl has the cucumber in her car like nothing ever happened. I'm like, okay, hey, Vanessa, do you want me to drive? She's like, uh, yep. Me and Vanessa, so no, me and Vanessa represent Vanessa. My mom is by herself in her own car. Mom is having us follow her, but she's a speedy driver. So when she's up here, I'm still down here. So my mom is determined to get home very fast. Me and Vanessa are still kind of behind. Oh, me and Vanessa are like, honey, like we need to slow down for us. And my mom's like, no, my tire is flat. And we're like, oh my goodness. I knew I was right. My mom's tire was destroyed. We go on the street with no power. We go all the way up this way. And then we take a street, go to a quit trip near the house. So there's a quit trip over here. And we fill up Vanessa's tire and we also fill up my mom's tire. And then my mom's like, come on guys, like, we don't, I don't have enough time. My air is leaking out of my tire. And when we make it back to the house, we're all home safe and sound. My dad's sleeping this entire time, believe it or not. Uh, the next morning, I go outside and I'm like expecting to see a nail in my mom's tire. But no, I see this little hook thing sticking out of my mom's tire. I'm like, what? It was crazy as heck. My mom had to go get new tires. My dad at first, he's like, oh, we can fix it. It's just a small hole. Do you see that? Do you see that little thing sticking in the damn thing, dad? That's not repairable. Vanessa was happy that she was home. 
and we were happy that she was home and safe and sound. Yeah, the story does have a happy ending. So, for my return to show the tea, my tea went down to the blue zone over here. That's really good. Hope it wasn't too confusing. If it was, I'm sorry. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please remember to leave a like, and I'll talk to you guys all again next time. Love you. Oh, here you can get up. Okay. <laughs> so my mom go a different way. We start going this way. Sorry, no, wrong. Wrong thing. God, why do I have a jump? I don't read this anymore. Like, the is over. So, my mom just fell. This is your struggle bus, if you can't tell. Telling this damn story of NASA. She can't even hear me. Can you get the camera this way? Across from her. And, um. And. Mom just fell off the grid again. How do you feel to know that me and mom came to rescue you? Oh, fuck. I was like, Fingers crossed that we won't get paired up with some random people.